In 1989, the world watched as Romania went through a revolution that brought four decades of communist rule to an abrupt end. Western influences quickly poured into the country, promising a new and brighter future. Nearly two decades later, the reality in the capital is quite different. Economic and social instability has forced many thousands onto the streets. With no jobs, money or somewhere to live, they quickly fall victim to drugs, prostitution and violence. The streets of Bucharest offer no comfort, no future and no love. Because of their faith in Christ, Sue and Ron Bates are attempting to change this. In 1990, they gave up everything and moved to Romania. And they now run a Christian ministry called Inasmuch. Inasmuch is the name of our organization. We started here in Romania. And it's based on the scripture in Matthew 25, 40. Inasmuch as you've done it unto the least of these, my brethren, you've done it unto me. At present, we have two homes in Chargula, which is just outside Bucharest, for uh, mothers and their children. And these children and mothers were either abused or battered or homeless on the streets and didn't have any place to stay. Some of them wanted to abort their child because they couldn't see any future. And we offered them a place to stay so that they could keep their child and help them raise it. In the next village, which is about 15 minutes away, is Valentin Dow. And we have about 50 girls there who were, who were raised in the orphanage and put out on the streets when they turned 18. Also here in Chargula, we have a, a ministry for our, our printing house for blind people is here, it's upstairs. And uh, we print the Bible in Braille. When we came here in 1990, they didn't have the Bible in Braille. They were only just maybe a couple of copies in the country. So we help them with that. Also, we have ministry to the gypsies. Well, gypsies are in terrible condition here in, in Romania. Not many jobs. So we help them with food and with money for cooking, for heating and different things. And have Ron, Ron's main ministry is to go to their churches and visit them and preach for them and help them with uh, Bible knowledge. <laughs> The Inasmuch Ministry is healing many broken lives, but Sue and Ron particularly want to tackle Romania's infamous orphan problem. That's why two of their homes are devoted to keeping mothers with their children. The reason that we want to keep the mothers with their children is not because it's written on our hearts, God's law and God's love. And it's not because the psychiatrists and psychologists all tell us, you know, they've got to bond with their mother and they've got to be together. It's because God said it's not good for men to be alone. It's not good for these babies to live without their parents. We've seen the fruit of this in these girls at Bolentine who are all raised in the orphanages. And they have every behavioral problem known to man. And I don't know if it can be turned around except by the grace of God. So this is why we want these babies to have what they need in life. And the first thing they need more than anything is love, especially love from their parents, from their mother especially. Over the years, Sue and Ron have discovered that many of the girls living on the streets originally grew up in state orphanages, but when they reached 18, they were forced to leave. I grew up only in orphanages. I never knew my parents. When we finished school, they gave us our papers and they said, we don't care where you go, just leave. We can't keep you any longer. We asked, where can we go? We don't have parents, we don't know anybody. We decided to come to Bucharest. Maybe we could find some help here. We were 22 girls and slept at the train station for a while. Then we separated. I lived above and below the streets for three years. There I met a boy and I stayed with him for protection. He was very brutal. He was beating me up, sending me to beg for food and wash cars. Then we had a child. I said, we can't keep him. We have no way of raising him. It's very hard since we are on the streets. What can I offer this child? I have nothing to offer him. Rodica's hopeless situation was completely turned around by the Inasmuch Ministry. 
She now lives in a home with 50 other girls rescued from the streets. Now I like it at Bolintin where I'm staying. My child feels happy here. He says it is his home. We have learnt about God and his love and we sing to him. Sue teaches us how to behave. We sometimes upset her, I can't say I'm always good, but she understands us because she knows we grew up in orphanages and were beaten up and we had nobody to teach us and give us an education. Sue understands us a lot. She's a very good woman. Indeed, in her I have found a good heart. Sometimes I feel in my soul as if she is the mother I never had. There are countless more girls that Sue and Ron would like to take off the streets, yet housing them is their constant challenge. But they continue to trust that God will provide. We're greatly looking forward for the completion of this partially completed building now. We want to make it a house of protection, a house of shelter for 40 or 50 of our young girls. And we're, we're, we're very much anticipating the, the, this work as it goes forward. We, we need the help of Christian people to pray for us. This is a big project and we're, we're little people. We, we just need the help of, of a great God. And so we're looking forward to housing, uh, and, as I said, protect, and protecting our, our young girls from the things of this world. Sue and Ron hope to do more than just protect the girls. They also plan to teach the girls useful life skills, like cookery and mechanics. They hope to do this in some large huts that have generously been donated to them. These huts will be used for the glory of God and for the... Uh, great advantage to our young ladies. <clears throat> we want to train them in physical work, but not only physical work, but, but talent. So we can find out what they can find out, what their, their talents are as far as art. They, and there, there will be things like that taught in these, in these uh, as we call them in English, uh, quantity huts, for the purpose of, of training these young ladies to, to learn to work so they will, they will, they will not be idle. And we're, we're looking forward to, the, forward to this with great anticipation. The Inner's Much Ministry is putting the love of God into action. Sue and Ron rely completely on God for it to continue. After this video has finished, please pray for them and ask God how you can help. It's not only financial support that they need. Perhaps you can send a shipment of goods or spend some time with them in Romania as a volunteer. Full contact details can be found on their website, inasmuch.ro. The most important thing I think that God has taught me is that um, the outcasts of the world, these girls, orphans, street kids, poor people, they're the ones that really shape the world. Because as our response to them makes us what kind of people we are. If we refuse to help them, neglect them, then we become hardened in our hearts. And, but if we help them and love them, then God softens our hearts and changes us more into his image. So they're the ones that the teachers and the professors in the world is, are the outcasts and the poor people in the world. <laughs>